my first time riding the cool wheel. What up YouTube, it's your boy Jermaine, back with another video, and in this video, I got something really exciting for you guys. So you guys already know I love riding my boosted board, right? You already know I love riding my BB, my boosted board, my V2. But today, in today's video, I'm gonna try another skateboard. This other skateboard is called the Cool Wheel. This is my first time ever trying the Cool Wheel, so I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is the Cool Wheel here. It's very similar to the boosted board. Um, let's put them side by side and I can show you guys what they look like. My boosted board is running away from me. So I'm gonna put these two side by side. This is what the two boards look like. The boosted board gets about five mile range if you're in expert mode. The cool wheel, about 22 mile range. 20, 22, 18, something like that mile range. Um, and they weigh about the same size. The wheels are about the same. The cool wheel has slightly larger wheels than the boosted board, but the boosted board has wider wheels, I guess to take more rocks and that sort of thing. But yo, let's get on this board. Let's try it out for the first time. I'm stoked because this is, the boosted board's the only electric skateboard that I've ridden, and it's time to test out the competition or another skateboard. Let's do this. Yo, so this is the first time. Let's try this thing out. Careful, bend your knees, lean forward. Wow, this thing feels stiff. Whoa. I told you. Whoa. Whoa. How's a break? It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different, right? Yeah. I think it takes a minute to get used to. It's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Let's, let's check out the acceleration. That's not so. <laughs> what a goofball. He's like, oh, it's like flying in the air. You're like dancing, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I don't know what I think about you. This is pretty cool. It is. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like, it takes it's a minute to get used to, but it's like... It's because it's different. It's different. It's like driving a Honda and then driving a Toyota. It's, they're going to be a little bit different, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to feel different. The remote, it's really light, you know? But it, it it's, it's, okay. it's okay. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's not going. <laughs> it's going Oh, forward. you got it. You got it. Okay. All right, it's fun. There is another speed mode, though. Cool. I'm going to have to practice on the low mode first because this thing's got some power. It's got jump, right? It does have jump and when you when you step on the brake, it's like, it, it, it's, there's no gradual. It's no. Like, there's just like, this is the brake, you know? Which, I'm, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I would've just rode this for the first time, it, I would've been used to it. But since I started riding the boosted board, you kind of get used to the wheel so you can slowly or you can stop really, really fast if you want. I feel with this, you're stopping fast. Like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is a lot of fun to ride. Let's think, let's talk about the acceleration for a second. All right, so go. So first off the bat, I'm noticing like with the acceleration, it's almost like a takeoff, pause, and then you go. Like, watch. All right, let's see. It. Yeah, so it almost feels like, it almost feels like when I take off, I'm on a handstand. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> you can feel the handstand. Yeah, I wish, but uh, <laughs> maybe feel cool. That would that would be really cool. Yeah, I think it takes a minute to get used to. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, so it almost 
almost feels like it almost feels like when I take off. How about a handstand? Oh no, I can't do that. Come on. You can feel the handstand. Yeah, I wish, but uh, <laughs> Alright yo, cool will talk time. Cool will talk time. Let's chit chat talking about the whole cool will. Plan for today, Heather and I was gonna go out and make a boosted board video versus a cool will video and we're gonna, you know, make a video. You know, but just just start off the bat, just riding a cool wheel for the first time, what are my thoughts, what do I think of it? I, I really like it. Um, I'm not going to say that I like the cool wheel more than I like the boosted board. There are a lot of things to think about if you are considering buying a boosted board versus a cool wheel. One thing I really like about the cool wheel straight off the bat is the range. You can go much farther on a freaking cool wheel versus a boosted board. like. I don't know what's up with boosted board. I don't know why you can't go that far, but the range on cool is so much better. One thing I haven't tried today was I haven't tested the battery to see how long it takes to charge. I'm sure that information is out there, but at the time of making this video, I haven't tested it out from my own experience, so I don't exactly know how long the battery takes to charge. But from what I hear, it takes about an hour and a half, which is very similar to what it takes a boosted board's battery to charge, but yet the cool will, you can go, Yet the cool wheel, you have a much greater range with cool wheel versus the boosted board. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the price. It definitely does not take a rocket science to figure out, yo, the cool wheel is a much better price point than the boosted board. I could go out and buy two cool wheels versus the price of a boosted board. And um, a question that a lot of my subscribers have asked me on my channel since I've bought my boosted board. They've asked me so many times, Jermaine, are you going to use your boosted board to make deliveries? And I always tell people, like, that's a really bad idea. Like, boosted boards get, like, five-mile range. And in San Francisco, maybe you could do, like, one delivery or maybe two deliveries. Or if you're really, really lucky, maybe three. But chances are you're not going to be able to, like, really make money with a boosted board. Now... A cool wheel, on the other hand, cool wheel has much better range, anywhere from like 18 miles to like 22 miles. It really depends on how you're riding it, if you're going up and down hills, that sort of thing. So for all you people out there that are wondering, can you do deliveries with a boosted board? I wouldn't really recommend doing deliveries with a boosted board, but a cool wheel maybe that could work out with a 20 mile range especially in new york city because i see so many delivery people riding skateboards in new york like the regular push skateboards so if you have like a cool wheel in new york i would think that you could just like ride the cool wheel and make deliveries that sort of thing i i, I think that would really work out i haven't tested it out i haven't tried it out i really 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 want my own cool wheel so i can put like 500 miles on a cool wheel board and just tell you guys all about it and tell you guys like oh this thing holds up great and, Battery life's awesome and I love riding this thing. But at the same time, I only got to ride the cool wheel for the first time today and it was just for a short amount of time. But in the future, like I will find a cool wheel and like, you know, go do deliveries on the cool wheel and tell you guys what I think about it. Tell you guys if, if you can make bank with the cool wheel and doing deliveries. Um, another thing about this board, I feel that all these electric skateboards are like, they're, they're sort of geared towards different people and they're sort of geared towards like different markets. Now, the one thing about the cool wheel, you really don't want to ride it in rain. It may not be a big deal for a lot of people. Um, some people may buy a cool wheel and they may use it to commute to work. Other people may buy a cool wheel and they'll just use it for, you know, the weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, you know, hanging out. And other people may buy the cool wheel for a completely different reason. Maybe you're just buying it to, you know, take to the park once a week or once a month. So, I mean, in the world of electric skateboards, I can't just say, like, this one's better than that one. Yeah, but today's been a lot of fun, like, testing out the Cool Wheel for the first time. Cool Wheel's pretty cool. It, it is pretty cool. It is pretty, pretty cool, if you know what I'm saying. The Cool Wheel weighs about the same weight, like, I don't know, 13 pounds, 14 pounds, 15 pounds, something along those lines. Like, the boosted board's super heavy, the Cool Wheel is just, just as heavy. And um, I really like the bigger wheels on the Cool Wheel. The, the, the wheels on the cool wheel are just a little bit bigger than the boosted board wheels. I really like those bigger wheels. Now, the boosted board wheels are wider, but I don't know. I don't know if wider is better, but I, I just like the wheels. I, I don't know. Maybe, I, I, what am I talking about? I'm just random here. But anyway, yo, thanks a lot for watching this video. I just wanted to, you know, test out the cool wheel, try it out for the first time, do a little compare and contrast with my home girl Heather. 
But anyway, yo, thanks a lot for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo. Peace out.